Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. I love line. Drawing with a juicy flowing fountain pen, a super textural colored pencil, creamy greasy crayons, a big fat clear marker line. Line is the basis of drawing. And then the drawing can come even more to life when you add color. And it's tempting to color your drawing as if it was a coloring page. Neatly coloring inside the lines, painting each part of the drawing. But white can be a color too. And by limiting your color, you can make your drawing look more interesting. And you can put a lot of focus on just one part of your drawing. So when looking at the line drawing that I made last week, I think those potted plants are just so nice and colorful. And that's what I want to paint. It doesn't have to be a neat painting. On the contrary, I think it adds a lot of personality and playfulness when you color outside the lines a little bit. I'm mixing different kinds of greens and where I see shiny highlights, I keep bits of white of the paper instead of coloring each leaf the same color green. Maybe a little bit of texture too. And I will also color the terracotta. It has such a nice color, which also contrasts nicely with the bright green. Quickly adding those dirt bits and darks. And the plants are done. But I am not quite done yet. I want to bring things together. So I mix grey and paint the drop shadow of the plants. Then I use the same shade of grey to add the shadows in the rest of the scene. Not too dark, but it definitely pulls things together and makes it a whole even though just part of it has been colored. So how will you decide on color with your next drawing? I really hope that this video helps you to be thoughtful about your coloring choices. And have fun, that's the most important bit. Of course, don't miss out on my weekly Draw Tip Tuesday videos by subscribing to this channel. I'll see you next week. Bye.